What's up guys? Joe here, and I'm bringing you my HUD tutorial. I'm sorry, I'm eating chips. So, um, let's jump right into it, because I think this might be a long tutorial. Um, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make a new composition. And any any settings are fine for now. I'm going to bring in some clips. Um, actually... There's a guy I just edited this episode, so I'll bring in this clip. Uh, 29, whatever, I'm not going to be using it. Um, anyways, um, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go down here and make your grid. So these lines pop up, and what we're going to do is we're going to make our HUD right now. So we'll just make a quick HUD. I think this is the one that I used in the tutorial. And you can hear, I don't know if you can hear it, but um, my sister's watching a movie, Tintin. And on uh, my, uh, no, no, finish, there we go. All right, so um, I like to have, like what you need to have is the fill on black and the stroke on four. And so what that'll do is when we take away our grid is that it just shows up like that. So if we actually go to generate grid, and go down, bring it in. We have this that pops up, and it pops up everywhere because it's on none right now. But if we go to add, it goes inside the grid, which I like. So um, I'll go to width and height real quick. Just put my settings in. Go to four ish and bring that to 20. All right, so we have that. Um, what I'm going to do now, though, is I'm going to wait, should I add it like this? Forgot. Do I add it like that? I don't think I do. Uh, well, I can add it like that. Okay. Um, you can make it red. Um, I prefer have a lighter red. Maybe like an orangish. That should look good. And then duplicate it. And I'm gonna add some fast blur. My phone goes off. Fast blur. Um, that at five. Duplicate that layer again. Fifteen. That 25, that and 50, and what this will happen is it'll get really blurry and stoof. But if we highlight all those layers and then, like the ones that you added blur on, go to the opacity and turn like 50 or something. Let me go to full res. Kind of gives you a nice glow, so I like that. And so I will pre-compose all of this now, and I'll call it grid. So what do I do next? What did I do next? Um, oh yeah, you can add text. So I will go over here and I'll go using a E. Just center that and I will put the anchor point in the very middle. And so come on, I know that I had a problem here before. Uh, you have to make it 3D first. Go to the Y rotation and it works fine. So. Yeah. You can. Oh, what the hell? Okay, you can just go up here and then you can keyframe it to just turn. Like one second, it turns once, I guess. What do you hear? And then you go to three and it turns three. So I'm going to have this go on for like 30 seconds. So what will happen is it'll turn like this. I'll actually have this X kind of rotate a little down. So it kind of phases us. And um, another thing that I did was, um, I'll try to cover it really quickly. So um, if you don't catch on, don't feel bad. Um, 720 by 720, make a new comp 720 by, not a solid, what? Oh my God, phone, shut up. Rawr. Someone texting me, hold on. Okay, so make a new composition uh, new solid uh, 720 by 720 and what we're going to do is we're going to go to our ellipse tool actually we don't even need the solid you just go to composition settings 720 by 720 and then go to your ellipse and double click on it and it'll make a perfect circle so um, I'll scale this down to about 90 and duplicate it 
scale that down to about 75 and then I'm going to add something on it. So you want to open up the shape layer, go to contents and to the right it'll have add and then it'll have a play button on it. Click on that play button and then go to trim path and this is when you open up it, uh, go to the end, you can change it to whatever you want but what it'll do is it'll kind of like take out the line-ish so I'll put it to like 75 I guess and then um, I'll duplicate that layer scale it down even more so it goes to like 60 um, open that up again contents, trim paths, and I'll go to like 35 and I'll do it one more time scale to like 45 trim paths at I don't have a timer going on so I don't know how long into this tutorial I am it's not good but real quick you can where I'm just gonna individually rotate these so um, just wiggle comma or open bracket one comma to be 60 Rotation, alt click on it, wiggle, open bracket, not nine, open one, comma four eighty. Same thing over here, rotation, wiggle, open bracket one, comma seven twenty. So what'll happen is if I'm gonna put on quarter res so it'll go faster. And just rotate like that, and that looks pretty cool. So um you can go to your composition one, drag your composition two on it and you see that's black but you can just go to mode put on screen scale that down and then you can duplicate it um, go to the positioning bring it over to the right uh, what the fuck there we go uh, let me make these 3d And then when we go over here, I'll just change the rotation up a little, so that it's not it's not as like it's not the same, you could say. So that's my hut tutorial, and um, real quick, um, we'll go to the clip. Um, just make a new one, and if we actually go in here, I'll scale it up real quick. Um, it, this should be a cinematic. I just got a random clip. Um, bring a comp one in and drag it over, and so you see what'll happen. This will happen. And we don't want that, but if we go to mode and go to add, it'll kind of make that like see through. And if you go to screen because you don't like it as much, you want it to have more color, um, you can just go to screen and then you know, do this. I don't know why the using AE isn't rotating. What the hell? Oh. It's because it's a nine second clip. All right, well, whatever. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you guys would figure it out. But that's my HUD tutorial. Um, also, what I did to motion track it on is um, I use camera tracker. And uh, if you haven't seen that tutorial, a link for it will is on the screen right now. Why the hell have you not clicked on it? I'm just kidding. Um, click on it, and then instead of adding text to it, you want to add this uh, composition to it, and make sure that everything inside the composition is 3D'd. So that'll happen to the text because, and that's the problem that I was talking about, I think you need to have it on screen. No, not that on screen. What am I thinking? The grid on screen. And you can turn it like that. So there you go. Everything needs to be 3D though for the motion tracking to work and everything inside of this, this this needs to be 3D as well. So there we go. Um, also, I added um, stroke and I just made a couple designs and added a bunch of stuff. Uh, you can do that, but um, maybe for another tutorial, I teach you how to use stroke. But this is my tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this isn't too long. And um, that's how I did it. So um, there's your tutorial. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye bye.